Hey guys, this is In China. I'm Lin and this is Elliot. Ready to see what is trending on Chinese media today? We're going to talk about some news about Chinese education.、Hmm. It is an absurd but ordinary story in China. On May the fourth, a father took his ten-year-old daughter to visit Hengshui Middle School, a school notoriously famous for an extreme running method and outstanding outcome results. Most importantly, this little girl was attached to an IV drip while walking around the campus. She had a fever that sailed over 38 degrees and has been injected with intravenous drip for the last four days. When interviewed by the reporter, the father said, "Since he's not educated well, he doesn't want his daughter to follow his footsteps." So he took her to experience the great study atmosphere here on this rare occasion. When asked whether she wants to study here, the little girl answered, "I want to come." And the father told her, "You don't want to come. You must come. Don't fail to live up to daddy's expectation." You guys must think this father is crazy. What kind of father it is, and what does that even mean? You must come. This poor little thing needs rest. This is apparently wrong, but we need to think about why this happened in China. You know, for most of the parents in China, study is everything. Sometimes study comes before health. Especially for the parents from the rural parts of China who lack of education, they cannot change their status, so they put all their expectation on their children. Like the father in the video said, he may. Mei Wen Hua, which means lack of education,、mm. and he doesn't want his daughter to Mei Wen Hua as well. In China, Mei Wen Hua is a general term, which means you are uneducated, uncivilized, or vulgar—just the opposite of everything good. Therefore, in the spirit of becoming educated people, their children have to work really hard and face extreme challenges. It is their only way out. You know, I'm thinking of something opposite. What is it? Do you know Zhao Yusi? Sure, the famous rich second generation. Hmm, she was in the scandal of U.S. college admission.、Mm-hmm. In this scandal, her parents paid 6.5 million dollars、wow, to get her into. Very rich. Yeah, they could get her into Stanford.、Mm-hmm. And she made a video, right? Yep.、Yeah. In this video, she claimed that she won this honor by hard work. Terrific. Now the world will know if you want to go to Stanford, all you need is 6.5 million dollars. And hard work. Actually, no hard work. 其实考上 Stanford 不是梦，只要有自己的坚定的目标，然后努力去拼搏，就会实现的。You know, kids from poor family have to really work hard、mm-hmm. because they have already lost at the starting point. Yeah, I can see that.、Uh, I know it's sad to put it this way, but social stratification is on its way in China. Actually, you know, most of Chinese entrepreneurs like Ma Yun, Wang Jianli,、mm-hmm. Liu Qiangdong, the tycoons,、yep, the, the, um, the Chinese rich first generation, they are more hardworking and competent than the children. Yeah, because their children don't have to fight for anything.、Mm. Because when it comes to the rich second generation in China, they rely more on the resources. They don't have to struggle too much with. Uh, to compete with most of people of their generation.、Mm. Anyway, it is a big and interesting、yeah. topic we can talk about in coming videos. Speaking of Hengshui Middle School, we mentioned its story. It is quite famous in China.、Mm. It may be a dream place for the parents, but <laughs> definitely a nightmare for students and children. Well, for your information, students there are subjected to a series of lessons, revisions, and tests until late night. Yeah, the only goal in their life will be going to a good university.、Hmm, yeah, and they have short meal time, and they spend most of their break time with books. Now there is a video t- that tells you what a day looks like in Hengshui Middle School.
The time of my middle school was miserable too. Actually, <laughs> I guess most of Chinese students are.、Yep. But I was lucky because my parents didn't send me to somewhere like country middle school. I wouldn't survive there seriously. Well, they believe no pain and no gain. You know, Hengshui Middle School is from Hebei Province, right? Yeah. Of all the students in Hebei Province that admitted to China's top universities, half of them are from Hengshui. Good for them. Now,、hmm. Gaokao is less than one month away. Good luck to all of students in China. Well, that's all for today. So, what's your opinion about Chinese education system, and what do you think about the father's methods in this video? Tell us your opinions below. And you can also tell us about your educational system, your country. We're、mm. looking forward to your comments. See you next time. Bye. Bye.